One of the things that I want to uh, uh, give thanks uh, is to our councilman on a very, very important issue uh, that he uh, uh, took charge of and, and it got passed in the council. And, you know, how the mayor and the editorial boards of the two newspapers, at least the two that I saw, they just don't get it. They just don't understand people out there in communities. It's one thing when you get a ticket, and that ticket is quite substantial. It's another thing to slap one of those stickers on your side window, which you can't get off. And, and the mayor thinks that's a great idea, the fact that it's so difficult and complicated to get off. He says, that's good. We should, we should do that. It's idiotic, as far as I'm concerned. And I hope the council will override uh, the, uh, the mayor's, uh, we expect him to veto it. Uh, so, David, thank you very much. I think that's very important. Let me mention one of the things, the, uh, one of the things we've been working, uh, uh, I, I gotta tell you, the name John Sprague has been mentioned a couple of times here tonight. Uh, you know, having been around quite a few years, and uh, we're having worked with John Esposito and with Esposito and, right, and, and Skignelli, and many others, and they were all wonderful. But I gotta tell you that John Sprague is one of those superstars. He's one of those exceptional individuals. It is such a pleasure to work with him and with his men, especially the men that are sitting at that table over there. They are so responsive. They are there. You know, when, when I'm told, call in the middle of the night, anything, I'll be there. They're just fantastic. And one of the things we're working on, which is something that is way overdue, I remember going into my building of uh, where, you know, 1310 48th Street, where my office is, and I remember meeting an elderly man who came over to me and said that he had just gotten out of the hospital and out of rehabilitation. And you know why? Because he got hit by a bike on a sidewalk, a bike that did not belong on the sidewalk. He got hit by that bike, ended up a week and a half in the hospital, a couple of weeks in rehabilitation. A man in his 70s or early 80s. Ridiculous. And the, the statistics are there, not just for people being hit, but women walking on 13th Avenue, in fact, uh, working with the showroom, with, uh, with Yankee and the rest of the showroom, you know, women walking on 13th Avenue and someone comes on a bicycle right behind you and touches you or grabs something from you. And I wasn't even aware of that particular thing. So we have been working with the police. We delivered to all the stores in Borough Park a notice that if their bicycles are on the sidewalk making deliveries, those bicycles will be confiscated. We're not, we're not talking about kids here. We're talking about these bicycles that speed down the sidewalk. And you know something? I don't want it to be my mother, who's, an el who's elderly. I don't want her to be the one that gets hit you know, by someone who shouldn't be on a sidewalk. Or I don't want it to be you or your mother or grandmother or grandfather or anybody else for that matter. So it's already better, and we are working with the 66th, to actually confiscate a bike or two here and there. So we're gonna make that happen to protect our community. Uh, the final thing is this uh, resolution. Let me just uh, uh, correct one thing. My dear friend, Rabbi Gluck, who's been out there forever and ever and ever doing good things for, for people. That's what he's all about. That's his essence. Uh, let me just make this very clear. What happened on Ocean Parkway and what happened in Midwood around the corner for me and Councilman Greenfield and I were out there in the streets and all these things. None of them have been classified at this particular point. No one has been arrested. If, if someone knows who did it on Ocean Parkway, hey, go get them. No one has been arrested. Absolutely no one. Uh, nothing has changed. There have been rumors and stories. When people are arrested, will know who they are. But whoever draws a swastika, I don't give a darn what their nationality is. I don't care. I want to put those people away, whoever they are. And just to tell you some good news if you haven't heard, the incidents have been happening all over the city and beyond the city. New Jersey, Great Neck, you name it, everywhere. And 80% of the incidents don't get reported. 80%. You know, the showroom came to me just last week with an incident on 48th Street and 14th Avenue. They told me about a swastika and some nasty things that were said about Jews, you know? You know what my reaction was? Oh, here we go again. I didn't even, I didn't even react. I should.
Because every one of those is dangerous. Every one of those messages of hate is a terrible thing. Especially if you're a Holocaust survivor. Do you imagine walking in your community, the people on East Earth who had to go into their apartment house, and the only way to get in is to go through a door that had a swastika on it? So, uh, I really thank the police department, the 66th, the commissioner, and everyone else, because they are really, they put unbelievable resources into apprehending the people responsible, and we hope that arrests will be made. And I also want to say, since I get this opportunity tonight, that I have to praise the commissioner, Commissioner Kelly. I love the fact that the commissioner has instructed the police departments of New York City to take every report, whatever it is. I met a man uh, uh, on Ocean Parkway Sunday morning when David and I were out. I met a man who came over to me. He lives in the apartment house near Yeshiva, Brooklyn. He said to me he was walking in Bensonhurst. And some guy came over to him who he had never seen in his entire life and said to him, Heil Hitler. I said, what did you do? He said, nothing. I said, why didn't you report it? Let it be part of the statistics so we get a real sense of 